Hey Blinkers, my name is Maria and in this tutorial I will show you how to connect Wi-Fi devices to the new Blink. So Blink offers three main ways to connect a device. It's a quick start flow, manual flow and Wi-Fi provisioning. Today we will cover quick start flow. Wi-Fi provisioning is particularly useful for projects with many devices or in commercial settings. But we will get into more detail on manual flow and Wi-Fi provisioning in our next videos. So today I will be connecting this ESP8266 board. And all I need is a computer with internet access, Blink account. By the way, if you are a legacy Blink user, you would need to create a new account in the new Blink. So also you will need to have a cable to flash a firmware and Arduino IDE with latest Blink library installed. Or you can use any other IDE you like. The easiest way to connect your first device is by following up a quick start guide. You can find this guide both in the Blink console and Blink apps for iOS and Android. Let's start with Blink console. First of all, you will need to log in into your account or create a new one. So if you are using the Blink for the first time, the quick start will pop up automatically. But if you are not a new Blink user, you can find quick start by clicking on the live post sign in the left lower corner and quick start will pop up. Now choose your hardware. I'm choosing ESP8266 and my connectivity type is Wi-Fi. So now we will need to install Blink library in Arduino IDE. So click on IDE you are using. In my case, I will be using the Arduino. Go to Arduino, click on tools, then choose manage libraries. and search for Blink there. Choose the latest version and press install. The next step is to prepare the code for your device. Luckily, Blink has already done everything for you and this code has all settings you need to get your device online. And all that's left for you to do is to input your Wi-Fi credentials. So enter your Wi-Fi network name and the password to connect your device. Now you can see that your Wi-Fi credentials are part of the code. Copy the code from right panel or you can download it as a file as well. Go to your Arduino. First of all, delete everything here and then paste the Blink code. So now this code is ready to be uploaded to your device and all the settings in your Wi-Fi credentials are here. You can double check them. Uh, also, you can change the Wi-Fi credentials anytime directly in this code if needed. And now we need to save the sketch file before uploading it. So make sure that these three lines of code, including template ID, device name and OUS token are at the very top of your code. I will explain a bit more about template ID later in this tutorial. Now check uh, that you are using correct board and port settings. Click on tools, uh, find board. I'm using ESP8266, yes, it's correct. And port settings, so be serial. Yeah, that's also correct. Uh, then upload the sketch to your board. I will leave a link with the examples for your board below this video. In this example, I put a Wi-Fi credential into the sketch. However, Blink also supports Wi-Fi provisioning. It's a way of connecting devices where Blink app asks user for Wi-Fi credential and you don't need to put this info into the code. Yay! My device is online! Let's look at the results. 
the new device is online. Uh, it has its own OS token. It's a unique identifier in the Blink Cloud. Also, I can control it on web and mobile. And we can see that the new template uh, was created in the Blink console. As you just saw, the quick start allows you to connect your first device to Blink in under 5 minutes. So this flow automates a lot of pieces for you, such as creating template. So in our next video, we will dive more into templates and I will show you how you can further customize this demo template for your real device and how you can add more devices. So happy blinking!